Hey everyone, Brandon here. This is one of my favorite vehicles that I own, even though it's probably worth the least. It's a 1947 Chevy 3600 wrecker truck. This truck was owned by a local salvage yard and uh, was built with this custom bed in 1955. A guy bought it from, watched his dad, uh, dad's hired welder or whatever build this thing from scratch let's get racks for tow dollies here the bed's completely custom with a uh, big old tool uh, storage bins here it's got duels they actually built these wheels themselves on site you can see where they cut the old centers out, moved them out and welded it so they could get these center hubs on on duels when it's designed for singles. They used a uh, two-ton front bumper, I believe, basically all the way across the bottom. This truck was used from 1955 till about 1972 under a 24-7 contract with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol, pulling cars and trucks out of ditches all around here locally. So it's got a lot of local history. 10,000 pound Tulsa winch, which I have not tried to get working. I bought this truck in like 2014, must have been, and it had been parked since probably 76 or 8. They just used it after they pulled it off the road in 71. They just used it as a junkyard dog and pulling motors and transmissions and shoving cars around in the yard and they had just beat it to death. When I bought it, it had uh, front fenders were just smashed and it's completely ripped to shreds. So I found uh, good GMC front fenders that kind of matched the overall patina of the truck. It's got headlights, trim rings, a bumper from another truck. The grill is actually original. It was just absolutely destroyed. I beat it back out to shape. This cover across the front of the engine, they, you see back where they notched it with a torch, get better airflow of the old radiator. Right now it has a 1957 Chevy 235 that came out of a uh, 57 Bel Air four door that guy was doing a V8 swap on. So I was able to buy the whole running engine and everything for, I think it was $500, just to drop in. The original motor had practically seized it just absolutely thrashed to death they had a re the battery had been mounted here in this tray up here in the engine bay which wasn't correct for the model year but i went ahead and put it back under the seat so this thing actually runs like a champ i got it going in 2018 it had been parked since like I said, it, at least 74, 75. So I got completely street legal. This wiring and stuff you see here, most is just, I just left it intact because it's cool. Looks kind of sketchy, but it's not getting used. I built my own wiring harness for it, which you can see wrapped around through there. And so this thing is actually 100% street legal, runs really, really well. I'm not gonna start it right now, but tried to leave it pretty much intact as found other than I did put glass in it and get all that going this is a seat actually out of a Buick Skylark I don't have the original seat it was long gone they just had a one bucket seat from who knows what thrown in here truck's got a uh, four-speed 
which has a tremendous amount of slop in the shifter lever. The transmission's about wore out, but I have a, a much better condition lower mileage unit. It's got factory steering wheel. Basically none of the gauges work, which doesn't even matter to me. I mean, I drive it around the yard some, up and down the road. This is my Oklahoma plate recycling program here. Batteries down there under the cover where it's supposed to be. Now you like these original 1960s vintage pedal pad repairs. My original intent with this truck was to uh, give it a proper restoration. Uh, but pretty much every single person that sees this truck says that I need to leave it as is. You know, I was going to paint it its original color, which was red, and uh, sandblast the bed and have that painted black or rhino lined. Still have a single reservoir master cylinder in the floor. This is for your uh, PTO engagement, forward and backwards. And then stuck through the floor is basically a primitive line lock. It's not connected anymore, I just left it there. Basically you'd set the brakes with that lever there and you could operate the winch from there. It's got a big old PTO hanging right off the side of the transmission. Right there, which is super close to the ground. It goes back here and drives that Tulsa winch. So, it's a really cool truck. I mean, I really enjoy it, even though it's a complete piece of crap. But I really like it. And it's a, it's funny, you take this to a car show and park it next to other vehicles that are a whole lot nicer, and they just pretty much ignore the nicer stuff and walk right to this ugly beater. Everybody calls it a mater truck, even though it's not the right year for that, but pretty much tried to leave it as I found it, as it's been for the last 50, 60 years. But anyways, just wanted to show this to everybody. It's one of my favorites. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I've gone through all the brakes, bearings. I did put a rebuilt rear axle in it because it was shot. It does have an aluminum fan with a electric pusher fan in it. Someday I'll do a driving video in it when I have a little more time, but thanks for watching.